Hello trendsetters, Marcus Small here from thesmallman.com and today I'm going to talk about the latest dashboard project that I've been working on. This is a banking dashboard, it harks back to sort of my background from the days I lived in London and it looks at various departments within it, but banks, so bonds, commodities, asset backed securities, equities, foreign exchange, insurance and retail banking and it basically looks at the uh, revenue and commission by department and by region. So at the moment we're looking at Africa, we might want to look at America, so we change the focus to America and then every single metric on this dashboard changes and there is dozens and dozens of metrics that need to change. We change it to Asia and you can see over to Europe everything changes so it's constantly moving and evolving based on what you choose up here and I've only got it by uh, distributed by region but it's region by department in these streams now the way you set this up so how you can recreate this because I'm not just going to punch this on my website you'll learn a lot by creating something like this you have raw data so I've got current year raw data so this is the transactional information it repeats itself between the current year and the prior year and then we've got metrics that sort of uh, complement the information that we're showing we've got FTEs we've got uh, information in here around uh, our projects our learning engagement how many consultants are working and then we've got our target metrics for our financials and then these blue sheets are our input sheets these green sheets are our calculation sheets so I've got a pivot table that controls the slicer in the top right corner and this controls well this is pretty much our one cell to rule them all so at the moment we're looking at Africa and you'll see in the dashboard page that corresponds with this Africa if we change that to Americas we'll, our pivot table will change to Americas our spark line information changes to our Americas all of this bar these 21 charts that live down the bottom change to Americas and I've got them color coded so purple blue and if we go across a little bit we've got green and then in the dashboard I'll know where to go if something actually goes wrong purple blue green and they just line up quite nicely then it goes to turquoise orange etc etc the main calculations page you'll see you're looking at Americas so this is parks back to our just the way you set your spreadsheet up yeah so everything comes back to a single cell and then you can have that point looking at your raw data have just extract the information that relates to that data piece and then that flows through into this dashboard page now how long does it all to take well I find just getting the raw data takes the longest amount of time and then pretty much your calculations flow from, flow from uh, that raw data and then I can start to pull together the charts and the various metrics I usually have like five or six iterations of this the first cut of this dashboard was very different in the way it looked and felt to it what it does now it's just an iterative process and I draw on sort of uh, oh, many years of experience to do that but look you can look to other people for inspiration and then what I find with this sort of thing the more you do it the better you get at it yeah so it's just practice 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 set your spreadsheets up like if you picked up any one of my spreadsheets they're all set up exactly the same way where we've got our input sheets our calculation sheets and it flows to our output pages inputs calculations outputs left to right methodology and then you can do magical things like this and have the dashboard looking on point and delivering your kind of message well hope that helps enjoy your day happy excelling everybody